Hi there, Dr. Alyssa here. In this episode, we're going to talk about replacing the nails and tubing for xylophones. This interesting specimen has come to me pretty ill. In fact, it's been worked on before, but check this out. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of surgical tubing. Very creative, but not quite what it needs. So first thing we're going to do is take off all of the old tubing and the old nails. Lucky for me, the original pins are here that held the tubing in place. Put those aside for later. To do this job, you're going to need to order ahead of time the replacement parts that you need. Make sure you know roughly the age of your instrument when you order because the styles have changed over the years and the nails are not all the same size. Say goodbye to that. You'll need a hammer or a tack hammer and a piece of wood like this one by one that'll help you pry the nails out. The wood goes underneath the hammer. There we go. And it'll help you give you leverage and help you get the pins out without damaging the instrument below. Rarely have I seen one of these come out straight and be reusable. So just go ahead and order what you need to get the job done right to begin with. Eventually the tubing or the rubber on these nails or pins um, gets hard and then it starts to fall apart and then it disintegrates and falls off the nail and it's a high time that you paid some attention to your instruments if that's what's going on. All those old pins are out. It's probably a good idea to wipe down the edge of this. As long as they're out of the way, you can really get it cleaned up. A little furniture polish and a rag and now we're good to go to the next step. We want to try and put the new nails in as straight as possible. This is a nice tight fit. It looks to me like the replacement nails are a bit thicker than the old ones. They're also longer so that means they're going to go in nice and tight and hold securely. If you should find the opposite is true, that the holes are larger than the replacement nails, you can take a wood filling compound and a putty knife, pack it into the holes, fill them, scrape it off, clean up the edge again, and then add the new nails, and they will hold securely. I have heard other people doing that with wooden matchsticks or toothpicks, but personally I like the wood putty. Okay, so I have tapped all of these nails in. They're nice and secure, they're straight. I had enough to complete the project. And now we're moving on to the tubing. I'm pretty sure this is a very old alto xylophone and it came originally with an orange, orange tubing that wound around all of the different pins. I'm gonna be replacing it though with this black elastic tubing. It lasts longer and it's, it's a little easier to install. So when you order your materials, you'll have to make a decision if you want to go with what was originally on the instrument or something that will maybe last a little bit longer. This was not available when this instrument was made. It comes in two pieces and they're sewn together as a loop, which makes it pretty easy to handle. You want to rescue the pins that held the old tubing in place. If they're still straight and usable, use the ones that were there. If not, these can be ordered as well. They do not come with tubing though, so you have to order them extra. In a pinch, I've used carpet tacks or upholstery tacks. Thumb tacks really aren't long enough to grab the wood, so keep that in mind. Put a pin or a tack in one end and secure it inside the box. Give it a little tap.
And then the pattern is two twists between the nails and you need to slightly stretch this as you move along. I'm doing it this way because if you look at the new instruments, that's the way they're strung. And I figure it must be good for new ones. It'll make the old ones happy too. At the other end here, there's a, a nail that's very close to the end of the instrument. So instead of adding that, that tack inside to hold the tubing down, I'm just going to twist it around here and force it down right underneath there. I don't think it's going anywhere. So a little tugging and adjusting to make sure that it's even all along. And there you have one side. I'm going to flip it and do the other. And there we have it. New pins and nails. Straighten it out a little bit. Ready to play. After you put the bars back on it, or ready for storage. This box needs a, new a good cleaning, and that's what we'll do next.